Hey guys, welcome to the first video in a series of getting started videos to introduce you to the interface and the inner workings of Lightburn and get you jump started in your first designs. In this video, we're going to show you how to import your work, different ways of selecting your drawings as you're navigating it, and how to position the work in the workspace. So to get started, let's go ahead and import some drawings to get our work going. So to import, we can either use the import selection on the toolbar, or we can also go to file and import, or use the hotkey control I. Now in this video, I'm going to import multiple DXFs files. To do that, I'm going to shift select all three of them and go ahead and hit open to bring them into my drawing. Now, the first thing we need to notice is all three of these files came in on top of each other. That's because Lightburn imports from the origin. So if all three of these were drawn with 0, 0 at the center of these, which is how they were drawn, uh, they're all going to import on top of each other. So to select them, I'm just going to select anywhere in the biggest drawing because that's the easiest. And because of the way Lightburn imports files with them fully grouped together with all of the geometry in that file completely grouped, it makes it very easy to initially select and navigate them. Uh, notice these two actually have holes right on top of each other. So if these weren't grouped fully, uh, grabbing these and having everything come with it might be very difficult depending on how the drawing was done. So the first thing I like to do when I bring in DXFs, um, especially DXFs that were created in Autodesk's Fusion 360, is I like to highlight them all by hitting Control A and go into the Edit menu and click Delete Duplicates. And this is because for some reason, when you use um, the save DXF uh, file uh, in the sketch menu in Fusion, it, it makes duplicates of certain pieces of geometry. And this is the quickest, easiest way to make sure you avoid double cuts in your drawings. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And notice all of my geometry is still there. It just got rid of the duplicates. So now uh, I can go about selecting my drawing and placing things the way I want them to be cut. Now we can do that in two ways. When we click and drag, uh, much like other CAD systems, uh, Lightburn has an enclosing selection box, which is from the left. So we click and drag from the left. And this will only select things that it fully encompasses. So if I fully encompass this one, but only partially encompass this smaller one over here, it will only select the one that the box fully enclosed. Now, if we want it the easy way, we can use what's called a crossing selection box. And that's anytime you drag from the right. And this will select anything that it touches. So when we are selecting all of our geometry, it's really nice to be able to exclude certain parts or include everything very easily. Now, as we're positioning our drawings, there's a number of different ways that we can do this. Uh, let me zoom out and encompass the whole workspace here. Now, if I wanted this part to be up in the top corner or in the center of my workspace, that's very easily done by using the snaps in the uh, toolbar. And we can move to the upper left, the upper right, lower, lower, or dead center. And personally, I find that pretty cool. The other way to move things around is we can use the um, X and Y positioning in the toolbar up here. Now we can use the arrows to move things around and just hit enter. Notice it doesn't activate until I actually hit enter. Or we can use the arrows on the keyboard 
or the mouse scroll wheel as well. All very cool for fine positioning. The other thing we can do is we can just drag them around. And I'm going to drag these and get them pretty close to where I want them. And for my cut, when I cut these, I want these all perfectly aligned along their centers. Now, the easy way to do this is I can hit Control A and then hit the Align Selected Objects Along Their Horizontal Centers button. Now they're all perfectly aligned and ready to go. But I want to nest these a little closer so I can get the maximum of my material. So I'm going to use the X position and just get it as close as I reasonably can without my lines overlapping so I don't double cut. And that looks pretty good. So I have everything positioned the way I want it, but you know, now I've decided that I don't necessarily like where these holes lined up. So what I can do is I can highlight these, both of them, and click Ungroup Selection. And now I've decided I want to move these three holes up two millimeters. Now I can highlight this one and regroup it. Same for this one. Now these are regrouped and as I drag them around, they are easily repositionable. So this is a really nice way to make quick edits kind of on the fly as you go. So that's it for this first video. Uh, we covered importing, how grouping works, selecting, and positioning your work in your workspace. Um, I hope you guys learned something good and be on the lookout for the next tutorial. Thanks.